This is a story of how I went to a top-rated Indian restaurant and lived with a fire under my butt. No, not because it's Indian food and it's spicy, but I was actually motivated. Let me elaborate. The goal of this video originally was very simple. Go to this fancy Indian restaurant, buy the most expensive item on the menu, and then eat it. Then see how it compares to my mom's cooking. Because, you know, she's Indian, she makes Indian food, and I felt like the YouTube algorithm would enjoy that too. I ended up getting paratha, which is almost like a, a thinner roti, but a little thicker. Um, we're gonna try our first bite here. At that very moment, right there, when I was eating that meal, I had a choice to make. I could lie to you and say that this food was great, or I could pivot because the food was actually terrible. Yeah, I can't lie. Um, that food was so mediocre. Like, it had a lot of potential. The aesthetics looked great. Yeah. Um, but the food was just so bad. So, when your mom makes me a meal, I feel so full at the end of it. I feel like I'm never going to be able to eat anything ever again. And now that I've just had that meal, I feel like I want your mom to make me a meal. <laughs> For me right there at that park was the spark I needed to step into that 26 year curiosity mind, which was to learn how to make Indian food. So what do you usually use for cooking this? Like pots and pans? Any size in particular? So this is what we're gonna be making with the help of my mom. It is mug. Um, as a lentil, and it's actually pronounced M-O-O-N-G. Mug, not not the mug that you see, like M-U-G. I keep going to love it. This is only $3. So before we actually cook these, we have to rinse them out, because of course, chemicals. So the next step is to put this into a pressure cooker, which is this little thing. So yeah, this is the pressure cooker. You put it on high, and I'll show you what this does. So I totally understand why that might look very scary, but it's totally safe. While the mug is cooking, the things we usually do for rice is we cook it in a rice cooker. It's just pretty average, but the ratio here is for every cup of rice, we put two cups of water. Are these spicy, Mom? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, baby. Next step, creating a vegetable base. What's inside this, Mom? This potato, mota, and cauliflower. And mota is peas. Have you ever wondered how Indian food gets its flavor? This is how. Fuck yeah, that's the magic right here. Uh, what are these, Mom? This is red pepper, turmeric, turmeric, cumin powder, mustard seed, cumin. First put cumin. I wish you guys could smell this right now. Yummy! As I was showing you guys this random thing, my mom added a spoonful of turmeric and red chili powder. Now the spice mixture looks like this. Now, time to stir this bad boy. And this is how the veggies look after 20 minutes in the pot. But wait, what's next for the vegetables? Now we're gonna open this bad boy up. So you saw how it looked before, and now... It's cooked. So we're gonna make this into a, uh, almost like a liquid type of thing. But the base for this is very straightforward. Spicy peppers, garlic, tomatoes, and onions. Add oil, and of course Dry add some spice. Dry chili. There we go. Mustard seed. Cumin seeds. You gotta let it sizzle for a little bit. See that bubbling? You gotta get a lot more of it. Put whole garlic. Oh, you hear that sizzle? You hear that? <laughs> this is where the magic happens. This is where it happens. This is where the flavors come in. And that's it, right? Yeah. You just let it simmer and cook. So every Indian meal 
goes with a side of bread. So if you've gone to an Indian restaurant, so you've seen probably something like naan or paratha, the bread that we usually eat, and probably I think I can say safely for every single Indian person, is we eat roti, which is looks something like this. It's very thin. It might look completely different from what you get at a restaurant, which makes a lot of sense, but we're gonna make this now from scratch. So yeah, my mom actually already did this, so pretty much it's the flour, we put a little bit of salt, and then we put oil. Okay. Time to get my hands dirty. Okay. So after the dough is done, because my mom does a beautiful job, we just let, let it sit now for 30 minutes. We roll these in, kind of make it into that, and then we roll it. So I'm gonna show you guys how bad I am at rolling these, they look easy, but it isn't. So let's do this. So compare that to the ones that my mom makes. She's only good at this because she's been doing it for 30 years, but... What do you think, Mom? No round. No round? A uh, thickness, but even to... Oh, that's pretty good. Maybe put it into the pan. I mean, this looks pretty good, even though it's not a circle. It looks appetizing. And this is the final product. Not bad, huh? You know that first warm day in spring? Yeah. Today's that day. It's 70 degrees, it's sunny. Oh, and by the way, uh, I got a haircut since the last time I filmed, so there might be a difference. Um, but I couldn't stand my hair anymore, so. I'm really happy about this video in particular because I think it's really interesting, especially as an Indian person who eats Indian food every single day, and I go to Indian restaurants. And there's a lot of convenience to doing that because you, know, you sit down, you're not cooking. Um, it tastes a little better because they add a lot more fat stuff like oil, butter, heavy cream, that kind of makes it taste really good, but this kind of takes away from the main aspect of food, which is understanding where your food comes from, how it's cooked, and the knowledge that comes with all that whole process. And that's why I made this video. Um, I actually did go into this video with the assumption I was gonna compare both um, some really expensive, bougie Indian restaurant to my mom's cooking, but it just ended up just being mostly my mom's cooking because um, that restaurant was really, really bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A lot of things are in the works in terms of um, kind of creating a schedule, kind of creating a, um, I don't know, just a different way of going about creation that I'm really excited about. It doesn't make sense, but I will say that the video after this one uh, is going to be one of my um, best ones, I think, in my opinion, and I'm gonna be kind of like pushing that out in terms of teasers. Uh, it's gonna take me two weeks to do, so I'm gonna probably take some break from creating videos to make this video because I'm really proud of it. So, um, and it's definitely changed my life in some sense. So, um, yeah, stay tuned, guys. I love you all.